What's going on guys, Mira here. Today I want to talk about the Gnostic Hymn and the Gnostic Chorus, as well as put everything into perspective for you guys. But before we do that, I just want to address some stuff. First of all, thank you guys so much for hitting 200 subs. It means so much to me and I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. However, that being said, moving forward I want to address the issue of MiHoYo taking a stance towards leaked information. If you've watched my previous video and read the comments, you should know what I'm talking about. MiHoYo has been taking a serious stance against leaking any information from future updates. In compliance to that, I will not be making any more leak update videos. However, if you want to discuss any future updates, you can do so on my Discord server. Link is in the description below. So since my previous upload, many of you guys have actually cautioned me against leaking update information and I sincerely thank you guys for letting me know. The video will still remain up for now, although I'm thinking of unlisting it. But in the meantime, it will remain up for a bit and if it gets taken down, then it is what it is and I am prepared for the consequences. So once again, thank you guys so much for your support and love. I really can't express my appreciation for you guys. Now before we stray any further, um, let's get into today's topic, Gnostic Hymn. So today's video will be about the Gnostic Hymn, but I will have to mention the Battle Pass first. The Battle Pass is basically a series of missions that you get to complete and earn Battle Pass EXP which levels up your Battle Pass and you will unlock rewards based on your Battle Pass level. So the Battle Pass period is usually 40 days. So after the 40 days, it will reset and your progress will go back to zero and you can start accumulating EXP and rewards all over again. So just a quick tip before we get into the nitty gritty details of the Gnostic Hymn. The rewards for the Battle Pass as well as the Gnostic Hymn actually scale upwards. So as you can see, at the lower levels, you are getting 480k Mora, uh, for example. And at the end, you start getting more Mora and eventually it will end at 240k Mora. So that's something to keep in mind while you are grinding for Battle Pass levels. And also, one more thing is that the EXP required per level of Battle Pass remains the same throughout the entire battle pass no matter what level you are so from level 1 to 2 you will require 1000 exp and even at say level 49 or level 48 you will still require 1000 exp so there's something to keep in mind as we talk about the gnostic chorus later so i just want to remind you guys that this is a flat rate and the exp does not scale up with that being said let's move on to the gnostic hymn so the Gnostic Hymn is a premium option for those who are willing to drop a couple of dollars. I think it costs like 10 US dollars for the Gnostic Hymn and the Gnostic Chorus will cost double of that. So it will cost, I think, 20 US dollars. But with that being said, um, the rewards are actually pretty good. So if you take a look here, I do not currently have the Gnostic Hymn. So I only have the rewards at the top section but if i were to unlock the gnostic hymn i will get um all the rewards at the bottom and honestly the rewards rack up to be really really nice so i will put all the rewards uh on the screen right now so that you can see together with me so i just want to bring your attention to the hero's whip and the mora so the Heroes Wit and Imora, you are getting 126 Heroes Wit extra on top of your basic Battle Pass reward. And for Mora, you are getting 2,160,000 extra Mora. So I just want to bring your attention to these two items because they are quantifiable by resin. You can actually farm them by doing the character EXP ley lines as well as the Mora ley lines. So do note that um, for everyone, it is a little bit different because different world levels will result in different amounts of Moras and Heroes Wit acquired every 20 resin. So for me, at world level 6, um, it does translate to 420 resin for the Heroes Wit alone and 654 resin for the Mora. So... That adds up to about 1,074 resin, which equates to about 6 days of progress, uh, assuming the 
180 resin you get per day is completely used up for the resin and the EXP ley lines. So what I mean to say is that 6 days might not seem a lot, but do keep in mind that it is 6 days for every 40 days of BP because the BP period lasts for 40 days. And one more thing to note is that that is 6 whole days of continuously farming for EXP resin and Mora just to match the rewards that you would have gotten from the Gnostic Hymn. So I'm not trying to say that you must get it or that um, it is a compulsory thing to get, but what I'm saying is it is a very good option for those who are willing to drop $10 um, every 40 days to get that Gnostic Hymn. So on top of the rewards that I mentioned just now, you are also getting some Enhancement Crystal as well as some Intertwine Fates and some Primal Gems. So um, those are really nice. The Intertwine Fates that you get, uh, you will get a total of 4 of them. And also the 680 Primal Gems that you get at level 50 uh, for the Gnostic Hymn reward will give you approximately another 4 summons. So that roughly translates to 8 summons, uh, which is a nice bonus to have. But if you are looking to get more summons from the Gnostic Hymn, then I suggest you don't get it because honestly, it's not a lot. But if you are looking to get for the extra rewards, then yes, you definitely should get it. And also, um, one more thing that is included in the Gnostic Hymn is the weapons. So these weapons, uh, they actually are unlocked at level 30 of Battle Pass, so you do get this bounty, and within this bounty, you get to choose your weapon. So you get to choose um, any weapon over here, any of the 5 weapons, and honestly, they are pretty good weapons, but it's just that, in my opinion, they are not um, perfect. Or what I meant to say is, they are a jack-of-all-trades weapon for their class, but at the same time, they are not perfectly suited for any character. So one exception is the Black Sword, which is shown on the screen right now. As you can see here, uh, it does additional damage from your normal attacks and charge attacks, and also regenerates 60% of attack as HP when you score a crit. So what I find this to be really useful is on Jean, but of course you have other options such as the Flute, so you don't actually really need this weapon. And also, the Serpent Spine is a pretty good weapon as well. But I believe you can get by, or rather you will be better off getting the Prototype Aminus that you can craft. Because first of all, it's free. Second of all, you can get max refinement in a relatively short amount of time by just farming the prototypes. So, these weapons are definitely a nice to have. Um, in cases where you don't have the perfect weapon for a certain character or when a new character comes out and you don't have their weapon, you can use these weapons as a placeholder and they will work just fine, but they will not be the perfect weapon for any character just yet. So with that being said, um, I believe the Gnostic Hymn is a really nice option to have. Personally, I will get it. Um, I know I haven't got it yet, but I do like to complete it, or rather I will I will get it when I approach level 30, just so that I can just collect all the rewards one shot and also get the weapon as well. So that's just a just a weird thing that I like to do, and it's not something that I recommend you guys doing because nothing changes to be honest. Whether you get it late or you get it early. Um, the rewards don't change, so do get it if you are interested and the rewards are definitely worth it in my opinion. Next we move on to the battle or rather the Gnostic Chorus. So the Gnostic Chorus is one tier above the Gnostic Hymn and it is a premium option that you have to pay on top of the 10 bucks. So let's say if you have the Gnostic Hymn 
and you want to upgrade it to the Gnostic Chorus, you just have to top up that extra difference of 10 USD. So the perks, or rather the main perk, or the only perk of this course is that it gives you 10 BP levels. So like I said before, uh, the EXP required for every level does not change. So it will give you a flat 10 levels on your BP. And the only case where I see this useful is that you are approaching the max level, but the BP period is ending and you cannot get enough EXP to get to that level 50. Then in that case, the battle, the Gnostic Chorus will be a good option for you uh, because the rewards for the final um, few levels are good in, uh, enough to warrant you getting that extra um, 10 bucks. But with that being said, uh, I do strongly suggest that you grind every day uh, and do your weekly missions as well as your daily missions and slowly work your way up towards the BP period missions. Because if you grind diligently, um, say one hour a day, you will be able to unlock the entirety of the battle pass and claim all its rewards without spending that money to get the Gnostic Chorus. So the only reason why you should get it is because you are too busy to play or you have missed a few days for some reason, and then that would be the only reason to get the Gnostic Chorus. Um, next, uh, I would like to go through some of the extra stuff that they include in the Gnostic Chorus. So in the Gnostic Chorus, you are getting a new name card. And the name card is honestly pretty nice in my opinion. And I will get it if I have the money, or rather, I will use it if I have it. But the price tag is just too much to pay and I totally don't see a reason why I should be paying for the Gnostic Chorus. So for that reason, I will not get the Gnostic Chorus. And also the last reward is 5 Fragile Resins. So that roughly equates to about 300 um, resin or about 1.5 days of progress. So it is a good to have thing but not a must have and I definitely don't see why you should top up that extra $10 to get the um, Gnostic Chorus for that Fragile Resin. So lastly, I just want to end this video with a quick conclusion. If you have a few bucks to drop uh, on this game, I definitely do recommend getting the Gnostic Hymn and the Blessing of the Welkin Moon also. So these are really nice to have um, that make your life easier and your progress that much faster. And even if you choose to go the free-to-play route, then do rest assured that the rewards for the most part are attainable by just farming, but you will lose about 6 days of progress um, of continuous grinding on EXP ley lines and Mora ley lines. So the Gnostic Chorus I cannot really recommend because it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope I helped you guys differentiate between the basic battle pass, Gnostic Hymn, and the Gnostic Chorus. If this video has helped you, do remember to drop a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.